All right, before we get into this one, to the LA Kings, put her there. Good game. Good game. Good game. Because for the third straight year, the Edmonton Oilers have beat the LA Kings to advance to the second round. They're the first Canadian team to punch their ticket into the second round. They're the first Canadian team in as many years to have three consecutive second round appearances. Now the scoring starts with Evander Kane off the rush with Brett Kulak. Kaner, man, he's just an LA Kings killer. He's had an amazing couple of games so far in this series. And then we switch over to the other playoff phenom, Leon Dreisaitl, an absolute freak of nature when it comes to spring hockey. He continues being Edmonton's best power play goal scorer of all time, and Riddick is oh so close to making the save, but you do see that in his glove through the mesh, the entirety of the puck was past the goal line, and though Leon's second goal and Nuge's goal both weren't technically on the power play, they came just after a power play had expired with Edmonton just maintaining this incredible momentum, and Kevin Bexa broke down something really great that I wasn't even paying attention to. I think I was just too excited. The LA Kings mostly rolling over and maintaining their game plan from game four. They also adapted their penalty kill by doing this near diamond sort of shape on the kill, flooding three guys in front of the crease, making it that much harder for Edmonton to have any kind of chaos in front. And so BX says that immediately McDavid and the Oilers adapt. They find a way to just puncture through and just disrupt that penalty kill, getting passes short and close in between those legs and still managing to get some pucks on net and some goals, and then at least carrying that momentum over to get goals three and four. And that's all that was going to be needed as Edmonton wins this game by a score of four to three. They do it on home ice, so shout out Oilers Nation, shout out Oil Country, shout out the fans for showing up and being the honorary first, second, and third star of that game, because yo, that build building was deafening. Now, my thoughts are kind of all sporadic, so we'll just kind of rapid fire some things that come to mind. Kevin Fiala, it's good that you're so well versed in a couple of sports. Now that hockey's over, you can continue your career as being a professional diver. If PLD is good at something, it's him taking just some boneheaded penalties, which, oh, mwah, mm, 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 gimme, gimme, gimme. We will feast on your stupidity all night long. Good luck with that one. Oh boy, you traded an entire line to acquire this player for eight years. We didn't see the PLD as advertised in these playoffs. Oh well. And also, ever since Big Save Dave's stick toss in Edmonton on Leon Dreisaitl in that shootout, Edmonton has been feasting on this goalie. But at least he now has something in common with his old team in the Calgary Flames. It's that they just don't play hockey in May when it matters. I know, I feel a little spicy about this one. I don't really care. Edmonton just feels different. There's something different about this team. There's this killer instinct in this team and oh, they are just showing no mercy. But towards the end of the game, LA did manage to get their third goal with a couple minutes left with the empty net, but Edmonton did such a good job. Despite LA having a ton of possession in those last three minutes, Edmonton did such a phenomenal job just pushing everything out to the perimeter and not giving LA any openings, any lanes, any room to breathe even. Now eventually when Leon does break through, he gets hauled down and I love that Knobloch, despite there being 20 seconds left, he puts out the first unit knowing this game is as good as done. That is some swagger. That is some big dick energy. Kudos to Paul Coffey for the way he's got these defense when playing hockey as well. The two-way game is outstanding. Bouchard sticks in lanes too. He was solid on the back end. Shout out Gully, shout out Stewart, shout out the special teams. Oh, they continue to just be perfect. And it was pretty cute that when the game was officially over, Chris Knobloch was walking off the bench towards the dressing room before he caught himself like, oh, that was a series. I have to go shake hands. Like, you know, just kind of being in it, but not in it, if you know what I mean. I just thought that was kind of cute. And then lastly, shout out to this girl that I was talking to on the streetcar. She was an Oiler fan, and she was predicting very confidently an Edmonton Oilers win tonight. She was saying that Dry Saddle is going to score as well. So I don't know who you are. I don't know if you'll ever watch this video, but shout out. Good foresight. I'm going to leave it at that. Comment down below what you thought of the game, how you thought the boys played. Thank you all so, so much for watching round one of these playoffs. Edmonton officially advancing to the second round having beat the LA Kings in five games. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh shit and shout out Hyundai Canada for all the love. Test drive a Hyundai at your local Hyundai dealership, the official proud sponsor of the National Hockey League. Shout out having them and their support to bring you these post-game recaps of your Edmonton Oilers. Thanks for watching. Peace.